I wanted to just make a video here describing how you can rebuild your SnowX transmission gearbox uh, using my rebuild kit that I put together. Uh, you can find the link in the description to purchase that off of eBay. Uh, it's only $28 compared to buying these transmissions new uh, from your dealer for $400 or you can buy the aftermarkets on eBay for 130. Uh, those are 100% gonna leave you stranded in the middle of a snowstorm. So I would either rebuild your OEM or go over to your dealer and get, a, get another factory transmission. Uh, what you're looking at here is the new type and that's a top mount. So it actually mounts underneath the spreader via four of these. And then you're seeing the older type here, and it actually mounts underneath the spreader again, but these are how it mounts to the spreader's frame. So it actually has a side mount. Um, other than that, there's not too many differences between these. Uh, you do need to figure out which one you have if you're gonna order a replacement transmission instead of rebuilding your own. Um, I'm gonna go into a little bit of a detail here now on how to install my rebuild kit. Uh, first off, if you've gotten this far, you have removed your auger and your spinner disc, and that's done by removing a set screw in your auger that connects, excuse me, connects right here on this flat spot, and then removing the bolt on your spinner that goes through this hole. Um, very likely you're not gonna get these off. Uh, you're just gonna to have to take a cut off wheel, zip down the side of your auger, you know, cut through your spinner and just replace those. They're $60 a piece for the aftermarkets. I think you can get them even cheaper if you look. Uh, quick tip to get the auger off, if you wanna save yours, you can see mine's marked up. Um, drill out your set screw put a pipe wrench on your auger, put another one down here, and twist them in opposite directions, get it moving. Um, and then after I did that, I used a ball joint puller. You can see I drilled a small hole here uh, for the, the point of the puller, and I pulled it straight off using that. So, can be done. I don't know if it's worth it when you could just spend $60. Um, if you buy my kit, you're gonna get four bearings and a woodruff key for the shaft. Uh, your four bearings are gonna go right here, right here. Uh, they're also gonna go, you can see my small hole, there's one in here, and then there's one where the motor connects here, okay? And if your transmission, motor unit seems like it's lost a lot of power or the most likely thing is this shaft won't turn at all uh, that's because your bearings are locked up inside of there this has gotten some salt down past this seal uh, salt down in there over the years and locked everything up uh, the process to replace these bearings is actually quite simple um, you're going to start off first you're gonna have a freeze plug in here and you're gonna pop that freeze plug out and if you ruin it, don't worry, take it down to your auto parts store. Uh, Advanced Auto AutoZone actually stocks these uh, just in their miscellaneous uh, section there so they'll help you out. You pop that freeze plug out and you can see the shaft sitting in the middle of the bearing and you're just gonna to wanna to put a, a pick or something on that shaft that you can hit with a hammer. Uh, it could honestly be an old screwdriver if you don't mind destroying it. And you just want to pop that shaft out through that bearing. You want to pop it through the gear that sets in the middle here. Um, so it's actually this gear setting down in the middle through the shaft, through this gear, and finally keep hitting it and there's a bearing right in there. It's gonna come out through that bearing and the whole shaft is gonna pop out, okay? And once it does that, you're gonna be left with 
this. So not going to be anything in there. You got your two bearings and your gear removed. Okay. Now, on the chance that your bearings did not come out with your shaft, if they're still in there, that's okay. You want to drive them up through the top. Okay. So push this one up and take it out. Then you want to take the top one and again drive it up and out. Okay. I probably should have said this first. You have snap rings down inside of there. I don't know if you can see that or not. You can't, but there are snap rings. On the newer transmission, there's only two snap rings. You're going to have one right here, one right under here. Okay. On the older transmission, you're going to have four. You're going to have it one, two, three, four. Okay. So depending on which transmission you have before you start banging on it, get your snap rings out. All right. Next thing, the bearings that were locked up are the ones that you just pulled out guaranteed. Uh, while you have it apart, it's very simple to replace the bearings on this worm gear. Okay. So it's this piece here and they come in my kit and while you have everything apart, you should just do it. Um, there's two ways to do this. If you have the older transmission, you pop out the freeze plug. You have access to the bottom of this unit sitting down in there. You just put a punch right here, pop it out, hit the punch with a hammer. The whole thing's going to come out this side, uh, likely as one piece. This one you can see came out with the top bearing on. Uh, the bottom bearing stayed behind, so I just went ahead and drove the bottom bearing out separately. Uh, if you have the newer transmissions, you're not going to have a freeze plug. So, excuse me, you're going to measure over one and seven eighths inch um, right on that middle line and drill a small hole and drill the hole only big enough to get yourself a punch down in there so no bigger than it has to be and you want that punch sitting right on the tip of this and you just want the same thing just bang it drive it right out through the top here okay um, once you do that you just pull your bearings off of this and install the new ones I like to install the back bearing first, drop it down in there, then install this bearing second after it's seated. Uh, you can do it any way you'd like really. Once you get it all back together, um, I guess I should tell you how to do that. You take your new bearings that come with the kit, you turn it top side up, you drop your first bearing down in there, seat it. Um, second, you install a bearing on the shaft. Okay, so this top bearing here. Install it on the shaft, it goes up, and it'll hit a point where the shaft gets fatter, and it can't go up anymore. Stop it right there. Your shaft has a key. Install the key in the shaft. The key's gonna drop down in here. Now you got your two bearings in, one in here, one on your shaft. You're gonna pop this in. You're going to take your shaft and you're going to drive it down. This bearing up here is not going to touch yet. You're going to drive it through here, line your keys up, drive it into your bottom bearing and when it looks like this. It's nice and flush with the bottom. Stop hitting your shaft. Don't drive it any further. At that point, this top bearing here it's going to be raised up almost like the seal is here. I have this raised up just to show you. The seal goes down in here. Uh, I just raised it up so you can see. The bearing is going to be sitting up here when your shaft is flush. You got to take a piece of pipe, drop it down over here, or you can very carefully use a screwdriver, keep it out of the center and keep it on the shaft. Very carefully work a screwdriver around it. 
then you gotta drive that bearing all the way down in there until you can get your snap ring on it okay once you got it all together take your seal drop it down on the shaft I still have to drive this one down in and you're good to go uh, before you're done you're gonna have this piece goes on here before you do that you want to get this motor unit going I like to hook it up I get these gears spinning and I start putting grease in there real carefully don't get anything jammed up in here including your finger but you just want to start putting grease in here and this gear is going to take the grease back and it's going to start filling it up and I grease it all the way up to the top until it's just a little bit overflowed and I bolt this thing back on it okay uh, once you do that you're good to go I'd say it's a probably a 20 or 30 minute job if you watch this video and, and get familiar with your parts um, it's definitely a better option than spending $400 on a new unit and um, much much better option than buying your cheap $130 aftermarket piece uh, if you have any questions when you buy my rebuild kit on eBay for $28 uh, using the link that's in the description of this video when you buy that I'm gonna give you my personal email uh, go ahead and shoot me an email if you get stuck at any point uh, there's really not that many steps to this so I'll be happy to go ahead and answer any questions you have uh, thank you very much good luck